Welcome to another episode of What Did the Patients Say with Drs. Dana and Lauren Brindisi, sisters and owners of Carolina Functional Neurology Center. We are providing you answers to frequently asked questions and bringing you inside information from real conversations we have with patients on a daily basis. Our goal is to spread the truth on health and healing because we believe everyone deserves to know the answers. Hi everyone, welcome to our, our segment, What Did the Patients Say? I'm Dr. Moret. I'm one of the doctors at CMPNC at our Raleigh location. I'm here with my patient, Neil. Thank you, Neil, for joining us today. Um, to start off, Neil, can you kind of tell us a little bit about your story and you know what kind of brought you into see us at Carolina Functional Neurology Center? Uh, sure. So yeah, I'd been dealing with uh, post-concussion syndrome for about five years when I first found you guys. Um, and so my wife was pregnant at the time uh, and I was kind of had some debilitating nausea as well as exercise intolerance uh, preventing me from caring for her. So I uh, figured it was time to really figure out what's going on. And I uh, just did a couple of Google searches, um, went through concussion compass and they told me to look for a functional neurologist. Uh, and, you know, I, Google search functional neurologist near me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys, CFNC was uh, one of the top places that came up and all the reviews seemed really great. Dr. B, everyone loved Dr. B. So uh, yeah, I um, took the plunge, went with you guys and uh, had great results. <laughs> awesome. Um, just to kind of, if you feel comfortable sharing, how many concussions did you suffer from and like when kind of your healing prior to coming, you know, what were our symptoms kind of like through the concussions and, you know, how do they manifest? Like, did they take a long time to come on? Were they pretty uh, early after the head injury, if you don't mind sharing? Not at all. Yeah, I'm an open book. Uh, yeah, so this would be my sixth concussion. Um, and up until the fifth concussion, they were... Uh, the symptoms came on pretty quickly. They were gone within two or three weeks, um, not really impacting my life significantly. And uh, the symptoms really weren't that bad, mostly just like headache and uh, trouble with speaking. But uh, yeah, after my fifth concussion, I, uh, I think one of the urgent care doctors said I almost died. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so that one took about three months or so to fully recover from uh, and then my sixth concussion uh foolishly was from do judo and uh was a very light tap on the floor and mm -hmm. didn't lose consciousness um went about my day went to a meditation retreat i think three days after after the injury was perfectly fine there uh, and then maybe within two weeks symptoms started rolling in uh, one by one, kind of like brain fog was first, uh, and then nausea, um, then some exercise intolerance. Uh, I just kept coming in. If you Google post concussion syndrome, I've had most of those symptoms. <laughs> and kind of tell everyone, like, how was your experience at CFNC? If you remember the new patient exam, and then we'll kind of get into where you're at now. But how was your experience with us? Uh, it was great. Um, yeah, so it was really refreshing to feel, um, heard, seen as a person, um, kind of like you guys took in my entire story and I, um, I found you guys, like I mentioned, uh, five years into, uh, PCS and I've seen a lot of other doctors, uh, you took all that into account. Um, it was great hearing that you found some damage that, uh, I guess dysfunction is the word that uh, you would prefer <laughs> uh, that had not been treated, um, that is somewhat been missed by numerous doctors. Uh, the, so that was really great to hear. Um, the entrance, the intake uh, wasn't too bad. You know, it was uh, pretty comprehensive. I was really impressed by the balance tool and uh, the uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but the goggles that check how your pupils are doing. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a level of sophistication I hadn't seen 
at any of the doctors I'd really gone to. <laughs> I just realized I see your dots behind you there. <laughs> For your... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, look at that. <laughs> you know, got to keep it in the office to keep working. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that was going to be my follow-up question. It's like, you know, what kind of modalities did you do at the office? What did you really like to do when you were here? And I just saw the dots behind you, so I just thought that was hilarious. But yeah, um, tell us a little bit, like, some of the modalities you did in the office that you really enjoyed and that you really liked. Uh, modalities be, like, treatments or? Yeah, like, some of the treatments you did. Um, so... I feel like I really benefited from the um, hyperbaric oxygen treatment. Um, could definitely see my recovery rate increasing. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the uh, the thing where you shocked the transgeminal nerve um, that really helped with uh, with my nausea. I feel like that curbed it pretty well. Yeah. Because it was, it was out of control. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And how are you feeling now? Because, you know, uh, after all that treatment, um, how are you feeling now? What's kind of like your day-to-day -day symptoms and your management looking like moving off of treatment with us? Oh, it's day and night. Um, yeah, I, I don't have to worry about going upstairs. Like, that's uh, <laughs> that's like been a serious concern for years. <laughs> Like, there have been times where I struggle to walk to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, I have to, like, ration my energy just so I don't, you know, have an accident. <laughs> and now I I don't have that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would say my day-to-day -day symptoms now are... Uh, I get some, some nausea, um, definitely still some exercise intolerance. Uh, it's really only on kind of like... Uh, crazy circumstances where that exercise intolerance happens. Like, uh, I mean, look, the last time that happened was, uh, I think I had to move some furniture that was in the way of uh, some uh, workers that were fixing our like HVAC system. And then our cat got loose and I had to chase down the cat. He was like in the attic and I had to basically grapple with a cat while doing a plank. And that, that overexerted me. <laughs> But, you know, that's pretty great that I went from, you know, going, walking five minutes is too much and, like, takes me out for three days to, I can do all that, and that takes me out for three days. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, I guess uh, my maintenance now is just doing, um, uh, I'm not sure what to call them, but the, the dots you mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, saccades, I think. Yeah, so that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the um yeah, and the vestibular exercise. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. That's great. Um if you get it might be a little hard for we're gonna kinda quantify it a percentage. This is a question that we receive so much on our end of like, you know, what percentage should I expect to feel better? And you know, everyone is really different with that and you know, what they obtain with healing, but like in your words for your experience you can kind of put a percentage on how much you've seen improvement on since we started, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'd say 40. 40%. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Great. Love it. Thank you for joining me today and kind of sharing more about your case and more about your experience here. Um, for everyone listening, if you have questions about treatment for post-concussive syndrome or any of the other things that we treat here at CMPNC, please feel free to reach out um, to us. Um, also, please visit our website, carolinefnc.com, um, for any additional information that you may need. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Neil. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Happy to help you guys. <laughs>